right, we are back with the creating a 5M framework. Um, this time, it's just going to be a little quick video just showing uh, slight updates we did on a live stream. Uh, if you would like to watch live streams, uh, it's me, sometimes it's me coding, sometimes it's me gaming. Um, but that on my Discord, it's in the stream thing, and there's a link that goes to it. But other than that, we'll just be going right through this whole little list here that we got on our GitHub desktop showing all the changes. Um, so basically, I commented out Spawn Manager for right now. Um, basically, very it's just unneeded uh, for right now. And I'll just comment all these out so that we know what we did. Um, so this is just a Spawn Manager... That's just a spawn manager coming out. So let's look here. So, okay, yeah, this was a CSS change that we did for our text that just changes the background color uh, transparent for right now. Um, in here, uh, we went into our chat and then turned default to for multi-line to be true. And then in here, we removed our player joining and player dropped messages because they're really just unneeded for right now. Um, so this is just chat uh, changes. Okay, now a little bit of the, the meats here. Um, so we actually added a... The, okay, so we added a new event in SV events, and we can go into here. I'll show you guys this a little better. So in base events, SV events, um, and what line did that say? So around 79. So when we load in our player, we are now uh, opening our cache UI, uh, which basically, I mean, it, it gets closed, but it basically sets uh, your money. Um, that's really all that basically does there. Um, okay, so this was some other cache changes. I basically removed some comments. Um, what did I do here? Okay, so yeah, I changed register command just to set the end UI message. I, it was pointless having a command that just did it. Uh, and then we commented out our test for elements, and that was about it for that. So cache changes UI, that's what that is. Um, manifest, what did it change here? I added a comment, uh, a comma here. Nice, dude. Um, we added a file for drawing text. It's not really drawing text though. Um, it's mainly gonna be like a usage key. So it's gonna display a usage key. Um, I guess we could just put that in. It's not really needed. Okay, now we have some changes here in our elements. So I commented out our drawing text because I don't have this created yet, but I also just might put it in scripts.js just to keep it even. Um, Nothing else changed then but our usage key. So we have our usage key right here. We have our class and we have our ID uh, that eventually it's just going to say what we have. But it's just like a small little thing on the side of your screen that tells you to press a button. Basically, that's all it really is. Uh, so we made that. And then in here, we changed the font face for everything. So we're actually using Poppins font now. Uh, we added cache change, which is a greener color, which is sort of nice. Um, we changed all the text here, and then we have our usage. So we did position relative, which I still might change a lot of this. Um, I might be actually recoding it all in React and TypeScript and seeing how that works out. Um, but for right now, um, we're just going to keep these basic things just so we have an idea of what we're doing. Um, yeah, and then I mess up, uh, I actually had in our cache, which is why we wouldn't get our cache, uh, the lowercase s to uppercase. I mean, it's a very small change, but it actually uh, changes a lot. So that's like cache change v2. And I want to see if I can show it. Yeah, we got, we got, we got some time. We got some time. So I'll, I'll, I'll show it a real quick, show you some slight changes that we've done. Um, let me open up my ZAMP real quick. You can sort of see how quick everything goes here. So we're going to open Explorer real quick as well. So 
go all the way down, click on FX server. Make sure everything runs up with no errors here. And it does. Perfect. So now we're going to open 5M. Do a little download, I guess, too. And we'll basically just show off uh, some of these changes that we did. Uh, it mainly, it's mainly just the cache changes. Nothing else uh, really matters. The whole chat thing, I'm not... I sort of liked how their old chat was, but... Um, their old chat was just basic, uh, and it wasn't in Vue, so. All right, so we'll just connect to LAN here. This load, I'm loading slow. All right, here we go. So we'll just select our character. You, could already, you sort of already saw it there, but uh, we'll just select pink cage. And for the usage key, that's what it is uh, to the left. Right now we don't have anything that uh, puts it in or out, so it just sort of stays there for right now. But that is sort of the usage key, I guess you could say. Um, obviously we're gonna get air because we don't have spawn manager enabled, but other than that, there's no errors in here. Um, and in chat, so yeah. Oh, okay, so it reverted itself a little bit. But, um, interesting. So chat reverted itself a little bit, but that's not too bad. Uh, so we have the slash cache, which now shows on the top right. And if there was a change, it would also show that. We would just have to call for the change, and then it would show that as well. Um, other than that, I don't think there's anything new. What else do we do? Um, we talked about changing some commands here, but I'm not too sure. Can I do SC still? Yes. Um, no, I can't. So these commands are still slightly scuffed up, it seems. Um, which, very interesting, I guess, but... So that's fine for now, I guess. Um, I believe our OOC command should still work, so OOC test, it should show, yeah. Uh, so my chat is actually getting cut off here, it seems, but uh, it shows your ID and everything, basically. So that's good. But yeah, that was that's basically about it for that. Not too much else. A little short video just to update you guys on what has been pushed and what has uh, been changed and stuff on the streams. This is more like, I feel like, how the streams are going to go. So if there is a stream... Um, there's just going to be sort of this update and I go through everything. I could always record videos on it if you'd like, but just let me know. All right. Later.